to Kid Zone Fruits of the Spirit. My name is Miss Jess, and I am so excited to go on this fruity journey with you. We are going to be able to learn about fruits and not just earthly fruits that, you know, are delicious. We are also going to be learning about fruits of the Spirit that are eternal and never change and help us to learn how to be more and more like Jesus every day. That sounds fruitalicious to me. <laughs> but before we do that, let's have a time of praise and worship together. All you have to do is follow along with me and follow along with what we are doing with our bodies and join with us as we all praise God together. Now remember, you don't have to be perfect. All God wants is our hearts and our praise. Now that sounds pretty awesome to me. So let's get to it and join me in worship and praise together. Let's do it. Okay, friends, let's do some worship together. Here we go. Okay, friends, let's sing about how deep and how wide the love of God is for us. Join along and let's sing. Oh. 
All right, now we start with all the words, but we take them out one by one. Follow along, you'll know what to do. Goes like this. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Great. All right, take out the word deep. Pin your lips closed. Hmm and wide, hmm and wide, there's a fountain flowing hmm and wide. Hmm and wide, hmm and wide, there's a fountain flowing hmm and wide. Great job. All right. Let's take out the word wide. Here we go. Hmm and hmm, hmm and hmm. There's a fountain flowing hmm and hmm. Hmm and hmm, hmm and hmm. There's a fountain flowing hmm and hmm. Great. All right. Let's take out fountain. Can you do it? Hmm and hmm. And hmm, there's a hmm, hmm, flowing hmm and hmm. Hmm and hmm, hmm and hmm, there's a hmm, hmm, flowing hmm and hmm. You got it. All right, what's the last word? Flowing, that's right. Here we go. Hmm and hmm, hmm and hmm, there's a hmm, hmm, hmm and hmm. <laughs> hmm and hmm, hmm and hmm, there's a hmm. And whew, that was good. All right, let's put them all back in. Let's do it. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Great job, friends. Okay, friends, let's bow our heads and pray. Dear God, your kindness for me is always there. It's steady every day. Please help me show that very same kindness in all I do and say. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow, what a great time of worship and praise yet again this week. Well done, friends. It's a joy to be able to worship the Lord with you. So awesome. All right, so now as we continue on in our fruity journey in the month of January, we were able to start learning about a brand new fruit of the Spirit last month. Do you remember what fruit of the Spirit it is? If you do, Let's say it together on the count of three, all right? Let's give it a shot. All right, I'll count us off. One, two, three. Kindness, yes! We were able to start learning about kindness last week. We jumped into the Bible, met up with Professor Bibleton, and he shared with us a great story about kindness from the Bible. And not only that, he told us that our fruit, our earthly fruit of the month is apples. Yum! I love apples. So I wonder what we can learn about this week. More about kindness in the Bible. I wonder what adventure we'll go on today. Should I go get the Bible out? Okay, great! And look! There's our apple, the fruit of kindness. Hey, apple. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, there is so much more about kindness in the Bible. I can't wait to go on our adventure. Are you ready to go? Okay, wonderful. Well, let's see where the Spirit leads us. Hmm, okay, so gloves, check. Glasses, check. 
Blindfold. Check. Hey, Professor. <sighs> Hi. How are you? We're good. <sighs> how are you? Well, I'm doing just dandy. I'm actually. I need your help with something. Well, we'd be so happy to help you, wouldn't we, friends? You would. Awesome. Wonderful. Thank you all. Definitely. Thank you, Miss Jess. Ah. Oh. All right, so, well, you've actually caught me an interesting time. I'm, huh. We're in the middle of Luke 5, and oh. there's a lot going on, oh, oh. so much. So well, Jesus has been busy doing his ministry. He's been healing people and, and really getting stuff going, and um, people are taking notice. Huh. Mm-hmm. So uh, he's at this house doing some healing and teaching, okay. and even the Pharisees are there who didn't really like him all that much, mm-hmm. but they wanted to see if... Jesus was who he said he was, and that was the Son of God. So they show up, and they're watching him and doing his thing, healing, teaching, and it's and they're all in this house, and they're all packed in there. So why well, I'm brushing up on my healing a little bit. Oh. So, but it's so crowded that there's a paralyzed man there, and he can't walk. Oh. So his friends show him kindness. Kindness. Exactly. Wait, that's the fruit of the Spirit we're looking for. I, it's, Perfect. So, and here's how they show him kindness. They, their friend who can't walk or move because he's paralyzed, they get a raft ready. They get like a, like a raft ready, and they, they walk him up to the top of the roof, and they lower him through the roof of the house that Jesus is in so wow. Jesus can see him. Well, that sounds inconceivable, even to me. Truly inconceivable. And get this. What? Jesus healed him. This, the kindness of his friends, and what they were going to do just to see Jesus. Jesus healed him and made him all better so he could move again. Truly inconceivable. <sighs> truly, truly. Now, wow. that's what brings me to something else. I've been um, winning this thing called trust, and because his, his, he trusted his friends to take care of his friend's kindness, and they trusted that Jesus would heal him. So I've been learning this thing about trust, and I, I heard, learned this thing called a trust fall. I believe I got it from your world way back when I was able to visit there. Yes. So, I was wondering if you could help me test it out. Well, if you all, if you would be gee, willing. Gee, Professor, I mean, you have taught us so many things so far. It would be an honor to teach you about this because I actually do know what a trust fall is. <sighs> Wonderful. Then I will defer to you, Professor. <laughs> Well, I'm not sure I earned that title, but I guess I'll take it. Wonderful. All right. Okay. So here's what you're going to do. Okay. You are going to trust me. Okay. Even if you can't see what's going on. Okay. You're going to trust me that I'm going to be kind. Okay. And you can know that I have got your back. So. Okay. That's where the blindfold comes in. Oh, that's what that was for. You're going to put that on. Okay. And that's what the glasses are for. You know, I'm not exactly sure what they're for. I think they're just for looking cool. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So should I take them off? Sure. Okay. Why not? Wonderful. Oh. <laughs> But they tell you never to put glasses on. You can't actually see out of them. Oh, okay. Not a good choice. <laughs> well, you were looking pretty cool so far. <sighs> Wonderful. So what you're going to do is you'll put the blindfold on. Okay. And me. then you'll turn around with your back to me so you can't okay. see me. Hmm. Okay. Then I'm going to put my handy-dandy manual down for a moment. Good idea. Just that way. I'm good. All right. Let me see if I can get this blindfolded. All right. All right. I think I got this. Little difficult there, but whew. You can do it, Professor. It's hard with these gloves on. <laughs> there we go. I can't see. Can you see anything? No. Okay. All right. That's okay. Trust okay. me, right? Okay. okay. Yes, trust. Okay, wait. So, speaking of gloves, I'm mm-hmm. wondering, do you have any that I could use? Just a moment. Looks like you've got something else in your pocket. I got... That will be perfect. There you go. I'll put these on to keep me okay. safe. And as I do that, what I'll ask you to do is turn your back towards me. Other way. Keep going. Stop. Perfect. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, Professor. So now all you have to do is fall. Okay, so am I, am I good? Am I... Are you in position? 
All you need to do is trust me. Okay. I will catch you. Okay. Even if you feel scared, I okay. will catch you. You can do this, Professor. Your degrees were off for this. You did it! I did it! Wonderful, stupendous. Ah, ah, your trust and kindness caught me. Wonderful. Ah, thank you so much, Miss Jess, and thank you all, wonderful little pupils. Oh, you've all been so wonderful. I am so proud I could do that. We are so proud of you, Professor. Ah, wow. Whew. Okay, I feel great just how good kindness can just make you do so many cool things and, and trust other people. And I could trust you because I knew you were kind. Mm -hmm. oh, so good. Definitely. Well, Professor, it was so fun to explore kindness with you today. Oh, it was so fun to do this with you. What? Actually, can I have those gloves back? Of course. Yes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can test them with some other people, but that was my last Go pair. for it. Have awesome. some fun. I cannot wait. <laughs> Woo! All right. Well, I'm sure we'll see you around soon. I cannot wait. All right, friends, back to the church. Bye, everyone. We made it. We made it back to the church once again. Wow, what an awesome adventure in the Bible we were just able to have. We were able to meet up with Professor Bibleton once again, and he told us an amazing story about kindness that's found in the Bible. That was awesome. Wow, thank you for coming on this awesome adventure with me once again today. It's a wonderful thing to be able to learn about the fruit of the Spirit kindness and also remember that yummy fruit that we're able to enjoy of kindness, our apple. Mmm. <laughs> well, shall we take our Bible back to the fruit salad? All right, let's do it. And we can get a closer look of our apple. <laughs> there it is. Our beautiful apple, our fruit of kindness, in the midst of our beautiful fruit salad. Fantastic. <laughs> well, friends, thank you so much for joining me for Kids Own Fruits of the Spirit. It has been wonderful to learn about kindness with you today. And it has been wonderful to have praise and worship time together, to have an adventure in the Bible, and to learn about this awesome fruit of the Spirit. Don't forget to download your very own Kids Zone Corner by clicking on the link below so that you can be able to learn about kindness as a whole family all week long. Until we see each other again, have a wonderful week, and I'll see you soon. Bye, friends!